Select your players. Uh, Kimberly okay. didn't get enough screen time. We're going with Kimberly. She did not. But Dude, um, they they made Kimberly's eight bit boobs pretty. This is way. This is like thirty two bit, here. bud. Whatever. Look at my titty. Look at my titty dance. Um, but yeah. So like in, when they have her arms next to each other, it's like whoa. Yeah, but um, so the artist that did it, I think it's uh, was Ryan Perot. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But the way he designed yeah. all the characters was they were like super, they were almost anime looking or like manga looking. So uh, okay. the Trini in that one was like, I got to be honest, was fucking hella cute. Like I thought she was amazing. And then once they get to the like Go Go Power or the actual Mighty Morphin ongoing series, they made her look more like the traditional version of Trini, which like is good. Like that they made, did that to, you know, honor uh, Thoi Tran and all that. But I kind of liked, I kind of preferred right. the, uh, the cutesy go go version but um you know we don't always get what we motherfucker trini you can't oh wait you can't trini amy joe what did i say you called her, her trini oh fuck kimberly god damn it oh my god if you're able to next time she gets knocked to the ground pause it okay the exact moment she's lying Here's the, the thing: ground. is I'm not gonna let her get knocked to the ground again. Fuck See, you. See, you say that, but <laughs> I like how it's got that early '90s thing where all of their shirts are tucked in too. Oh my god, that was one of the funniest things. Like looking back at it, because like I said, I've rewatched the series recently. I didn't get a chance to pause it there. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, but that's fine. But yeah, like they still like they they the fact that they tuck their shirts in kills me. What the fuck? Like, they have never knelt down like that. Too. What the fuck oh, was dude, that? Do the, uh, that was bad. Was what that was. I don't Who have her bomb ability. Oh yeah, I well, want to yeah, do. You don't just automatically get one. No, you get you it when, get as bomb. soon as you morph. You have one when you morph, and then you can pick up more later. But I haven't. Are you not allowed? That would you know? It would make sense if you can't bomb when you're uh, demorphed. Yeah, that makes sense. Fuck this. All right, we've gotten, this is as far as we've ever gotten with Kim, so we're uh, we're on the fucking way here. You're not shaking oh, me, you purple dude, bitches. Dude, smart. Throwing them? Yeah. He oh, was, he was about he was to knock me. Your, dude, he was about to shank you. He was about to, but I didn't fucking let him. See, buddy, here's the problem, and I don't mean to pressure you, but you need to get through the rest of the level without taking a single hit. Yeah, I got this. And I don't mean a single hit. I mean, like, if they sneeze at you, you're screwed. I got this. That was a close jump, man. Oh! Okay, but do you see when she falls on the ground and lies down? Like, they make, like, a boob pillow under her arm. Yeah. What, you've never fallen That's down and landed on your boobs? boobs work. Like, okay, I look, mean... you've never fallen down on your boobs before? I have. <laughs> I would also boobs, like I mean. to say, I think it's funny that they're sexualizing uh, Kimberly as much as they are in the game because while Amy Jo Johnson is one of the most attractive women I can think of, at this time she was still very much a child. Amy Jo she Johnson was not was, the sex pop. Amy Jo Johnson was not. Kimberly, yes, she was a child. Amy Jo Johnson was in her 20s when she played Kimberly. Yes, but what I'm saying is the way they dressed her and stuff for the show, she didn't look like a sex pot. She was just like the cute girl down the hall, you know? I mean, this is pretty vin pretty indicative of how she dressed in the show, though. What I'm saying is, what, oh, like, what I was trying not to actually straight up They made her titties way Kimberly too big. Jo uh, it, yes, it, Amy Jo Johnson was not as stacked in the show as Kimberly is in this game. No, absolutely not. They really wanted to drive yeah, home yeah. That, that she's got boobs. So hey, in the original series, what that was interesting. It rolled right past you know that. Me. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was because um, I was punching. In the original series, was the Yellow Ranger a boy? Like in the in the Japanese, in Japanese version? Yeah. In the in Japan in Japan it was a boy. I in figured. fact, funny enough, his name well, was actually boy. I've always wondered. Uh, of course. No, I'm I've not always wondered you. why. That's just a, oh my oh god awesome. I've always wondered why Trini um never had a skirt. But Kimberly always did. 
Well, yeah. Well, you... I, I always just figured that in the original version, it must have been a boy. Well, if you also look close enough, you can also see that Trini doesn't have any boobs, and she also has a bulge, so... You know, I never look close enough to see the bulge. Yeah, there's it, it's it's subtle, but it's there. Um, but yeah, in Japan, in Japan, they uh, they didn't. It wasn't really so much about like having the gender equality kind of stuff as it is here. No, um, of course. So they were just like, yeah, let's have two, let's do have two girls. Well, and the funny thing is, it's because in Japan it was just like, uh, yeah, we all know women can do just as much as men. We don't need to like forcibly show it in everything we do. Yeah. And like the like Oof. I'm like for the, for the for most of the series like like the, where there was the five rangers like going back to the very beginning there's only typically ever only been one female ranger or a I don't even yeah I guess they would still be called rangers in Japan but oh god we're in the same fucking situation we were in last you time You did it again It's amazing I I'm so skilled at at sucking. It's, it's... Oh my god, you know what I just remembered? What? I think I remember how we got through this last, uh, yesterday. How? Jump attacks. Oh, Focus yeah. Focus on your jump attacks. Well, I, I don't know. I want to try, I want to try learning all Ooh. the skills. Fuck! Well, not just that. Kimberly's jump attack with that spin in the middle of it is not doing you any favors. Eh. Sorry, I had to take a, a sip of my Monster Dragon tea. Oh, nice. Monster, sponsor us. I would love that. I'm a big fan of your rehab uh, uh, energy drinks, Monster. I, I love you all the sugar-free really shit. You really got away from that knife. Yeah, but, you know, close counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> Not Go-Go, but in Mighty Morphin. Well, we haven't pl there isn't a Go-Go Power Rangers game, which sucks. Like, if if there was nothing else ever made for Power Rangers, the one thing I would love to see them make is a, like, a a modern remake of these kind of games. With uh, It's that, really interesting that they didn't keep going with the video games, you know? Well, they did. That's the thing. There are, there are plenty of games that were after this. It's just it was at a point where Power Rangers wasn't nearly as popular. Come on. I'm amazed bitch. the last Power Rangers movie didn't have a uh, game with a... Well, let's be real here. The last Power Rangers movie was awful. It wasn't awful. It's no, just it, nowhere near as good as what we're used to. Look, man, there's there's something to be said about nostalgia, and nostalgia really proved that nobody wanted that movie. Here's what you got to remember: if we had never had Power Rangers before that game, before that movie, that movie would have been okay. You are absolutely right. That would have been a phenomenal standalone film, or even a Power Rangers exactly, film that's that. Okay. If they, because it was a remake of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which is one of the most culturally like recognized icons of the 90s, it wouldn't have been an issue. Oh, like if, if it was supposed to be any other version of the Power Rangers, it would have been amazing. But the fact that it was supposed to be the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is what, sh what was basically the, the major issue with it. I agree. Also, you know the uh, Kimberly from that uh, version is Princess Jasmine in the Live Aladdin? I do. She was also in, oh god, what was that? There was a TV series where it was like humanity had overpopulated the planet, and so they, to uh, fix Terraform? it, they, it might have, Terra something, yeah. Where uh, they go back into the past? Yeah, she was, she was one of the characters in that. She was interesting. She's also been in a good amount of My Wet Dreams. That's, I mean, yeah, that's fair. You know what? Okay. Now here's the hey, thing: is do you know what her name is? Uh, yeah. Do you? Yeah, of course I do. I don't. I don't have wet dreams about people unless I can say they're what their name is. Her name's Naomi Watts, dude. It's Naomi Scott, but okay. I knew it was Naomi, and it ends in an "ot" sound. Okay, that was close enough. I know that there is somebody named Naomi Watts. <laughs> Does that count? Well, I'll count it. I don't really care. Unfortunately, she's married. Oh she my had, uh, gosh, poor, th poor us. She had to leave me. Yeah, because we had such a great chance of ever getting with her, right? Uh, better than I do now. Come on, man. So here's here. Dude, so did you ever see um? Wait, wait. But no, no. So going back to the whole, the fact that they didn't make a video game over it. While I agree with you with the, with the reception of the movie and everything, was nowhere near where it, they wanted it to be. The thing is, I'm amazed before the movie came out, they didn't make a video game about it because of how much they that's, were trying that's a really to hype point, everything yeah. up. 
I will say, like, one of the things that I, I, I have no issue with the Rangers themselves, or the characters even. Like, I think that for the most part, they did a great job with the casting. The issues that I oh, had. Yeah. Oh my god, I did it. Oh, Kimmy. Mother. We're gonna get to see what Kimmy's bomb looks like. Oh, that is. That is just a. That's just a reskin. Oh my that's god. That's just a pink version of Jason. Holy shit! This is amazing! This is awful! They didn't even do the white on the bottom of her helmet! They didn't even try to make like this that, look different. I also like that the Pink Rangers uh, special bomb move is just sparkly. It's lasers, dude. <laughs> but here's no. Here's what kills me is her weapon is a freaking bow and arrow, and you're using it like a goddamn sword. And not like she's not even like yes melee weapon as a using the bow as a melee weapon like it's not even like it did an arrow where wow. it makes sense no she's holding the edge of the bow. <laughs> God damn. She's probably cutting her damn hand on the bowstring every single time. Um yeah probably but here, oh my God I got to do an arrow. What? You just have to that hit a couple cool. of you have to just hit a couple of consecutive hits I guess. Um, but what would be really dope. cool is if they did one of these side scroller beat em ups, but it was like it it was a continuation each like it would go through all the seasons. Oh, I, so I would, like you play as one uh as what are they would do that? Easy. Just go through the game once you get past a certain no, no, point. No, no. Story wise. Easy. As you progress through the game, you complete the season of Power Rangers and move on to the next one. Oh, see, no, no, I'm thinking it'd be more fun to be like, all right, you do Mighty Morphin, then the ne you choose one character from Mighty Morphin for the first level. Yeah. Then you get through it, and you choose one character from the next Power Rangers. Oh. Then you do, you know, you keep going that, and then and then it loops until you get them all. I think that'd be pretty cool, but I think it'd be cool to like just un unlock shit as you go, because that's the thing is, is with these, with the the first few true. seasons, with Ooh. the first few seasons, it was all the same range. Just made it you oh my god i totally thought you were gonna get hit by that piece no nah, i got um, this boo I'm, I'm i'm good look at me i'm a big so burly woman i mean dude it's really like didn't they do that in one of the uh comics where the pink ranger was a boy um yeah oh so in in gogo -Go they did that for one of the storylines all the color all the rangers swapped colors Right, right. If I remember right, that's exactly that's what this character is. That's basically what. Well, yeah. In the so in the comics, it was Zack that was the Pink Ranger for a brief amount of time. That's fantastic. Oh, and it was awesome seeing all the Rangers be alternate colors because I think they made Billy the Black Ranger, so he was having to go all out like because you know Zack was basically a tank uh, Ranger right. version. Oh, absolutely. So seeing Billy be a tank was fucking awesome. Continue.